Women think that I'm a bit mental. Hey everybody. If you've been on YouTube in the last few weeks, you may have been recommended this absolute gem of a video. The video itself is pretty funny, in a strange way, and it can be easily dismissed as a particularly avant-garde example of internet humor, only recently rediscovered thanks to YouTube's algorithm. This is exactly what I did the first time I came across the video, and it wasn't until I returned to it recently that I actually became curious. The title of this video and the small credit section at the end identify the video as a Bruno Pauraznik classic. However, upon searching up Bruno Paul Rosnick, I found close to zero information on who this man is, other than a few more baffling videos that only made me more curious. I decided to do some investigation of my own, and what little information I and others have found paints a strange picture of an even stranger man. This is the mystery of Bruno Paul Rosnick. One important thing to note before beginning is that none of Bruno's videos were posted to YouTube by Bruno himself. It can be assumed that he had a presence on YouTube at some point in the past, but any evidence of this has since been deleted. Most of Bruno's currently available videos were uploaded by one of three channels, Sell to Rent, Free Bruno Pauraznik, and David E. Interestingly, David E. seems to be a personal channel who happened to upload some of Bruno's videos, while the other two channels are completely devoted to Bruno's content. Other than these videos, there is very limited information on Bruno, but I'll try to lay out everything currently known in chronological order. Here we go. On August 13th, 2004, Bruno Pauraznik made his first documented appearance on the internet with a post on the housepricecrash.co.uk forums. The HPC forums is a UK-based website dedicated to discussing, as you may have guessed, house prices and the economy in the UK. This is a topic which Bruno spoke about often and remained passionate about for the entirety of his documented history. Starting with his first post in August, Bruno engaged in discussion about a future housing crash, which he vehemently insisted would happen in mid-2005, after the United Kingdom's 2005 general election. Bruno repeatedly spoke on this topic passionately and aggressively until his final post on February the 15th of 2005. His profile indicates that he remained an observer on the site until March 30th of the same year, at which point he disappeared. After 2005, there is a two-year gap where virtually nothing can be found. The next mention of Bruno comes in the form of a something awful thread devoted to the awful link of the day. On February 10th, 2007, a user named Get That Out of My Face posted a link to the website brunopow.150m.com, saying, This man is convinced the housing market in Britain is a better investment than gold or oil. The site has been since taken down, but an internet archive from February of 2008 shows that this is indeed Bruno's site. The site itself is full of bright colors, sensationalist statements, and dead links, but the content of the site shows a marked difference from Bruno's statements on the HPC forums two years prior. In this new site, Bruno claims repeatedly that the British housing market will never crash and that prices will continue to increase. In his ravings, he attacks a group of people known as sell to renters or STRs, saying that they are deceitful, lying, and greedy scum. The site continues in this fashion for quite a while, totaling almost 20,000 words. However, the site was shut down sometime in early 2009. It was at this point that Bruno would move into videos. The earliest of Bruno's videos was uploaded on February 18th, 2008, by the channel Sell to Rent, an obvious reference to Bruno's hate for the sell to renters mentioned earlier. While this channel would at first seem to be Bruno himself, the descriptions of the videos talk about Bruno in the third person, indicating that these are re-uploads. The first video, entitled My Yacht, is a confusing video of a man passing by a large boat with sped up, nigh incomprehensible audio. Whether this video was related to Bruno is still unclear. However, 
the next few videos are clearly of either Bruno's making or based around him. The first two videos seem to be produced by Cell to Rent, presumably using footage and audio sourced from Bruno's now deleted YouTube channel. One video shows what is stated to be Bruno's bedroom, which appears to be in a state of disarray. The next three videos feature Bruno himself rambling about various topics, including his inability to engage with women. I'm having trouble chatting up women. It is in this video that we get our first glimpse of what can be assumed is Bruno's face. Cell to Rent stopped uploading on April 15th of 2008 and has been inactive ever since. Our next piece of information comes in the form of a blog post from February 29th, 2008, describing one man's confusion upon discovering the works of Bruno Paurasnik. This site provides little information that wasn't already known, except for a series of images which seem to come from Bruno's site when it was still active. The author of the blog describes Bruno as absolutely hideous, but extremely intriguing. Several months after this post, on July 10th, 2008, an announcement was made on another housing market forum stating that Bruno had been arrested for threatening to attend an HPC social function with an AK-47 and to cause problems. Whether this was a genuine report or simply a joke is unclear, especially considering the fact that Bruno continued his online activities. On August 15th, 2008, a channel called Free Bruno Paurasnik created its first upload. Entitled Free Bruno Paurasnik Voted Most Popular Poster on HousePriceCrash.co.uk, the video features various photos of Bruno with background music repeating the channel's name. Free Bruno Paurasnik. Where this music came from and who created it is currently unknown. The next two videos appear to be remixes of various Bruno Paurasnik rants. The last of these videos was uploaded on September 11th of 2008, though the channel continued to upload House Price Crash and STR related content until June 22nd of 2010. This channel has the strongest connection to Bruno, as it consistently shares his viewpoints and seems to advocate for his cause. Some theorize that this channel may belong to Bruno himself. However, this channel continuously refers to Bruno in the third person. Whether this is stylistic or evidence of another person behind the channel is anyone's guess. Bruno was completely silent for another two years before creating a Twitter account on November 12th of 2012. Bruno posted 10 tweets between the 12th and the 14th, mostly consisting of his usual statements about STRs. However, one interesting thing to come of this account was Bruno's repeated mention of a new website he had created. Similarly to his first one, this website has also been taken down, but an internet archive from late November of 2012 reveals its content. Instead of the stability of the British housing market, this new site instead spoke of the instability of Spain's housing market. Laid out and designed in much the same way as his first site, this page rambled on about how Spain's economy would crash completely within the next few years. This site went down somewhere between November 2012 and July of 2013. After the closure of Bruno's second site, another year passed before he resurfaced once more, this time in the form of more videos. The original channel on which these videos was posted has been lost and all currently available videos from Bruno's second wave have been preserved on a channel called David E. Of all the channels mentioned, David E. has the weakest connection to Bruno, and it is most likely that David was simply re-uploading content of Bruno's that he found particularly funny. The first of these uploads, from November 24th, 2013, is the infamous recommended video, and the rest have virtually no connection to any of Bruno's previous fixations. It is possible that these videos were created earlier than 2013. The exception to this is the channel's last video, which was presumably created after Margaret Thatcher's death in early 2013. This is presumably the end of the Bruno Paurasnik trail, and little to no discussion about Bruno occurred for over half a decade. However, on September 19th of 2019, 
a subreddit was created dedicated to researching Bruno, where information has since been accumulating. Although he remains elusive, Bruno's exploits have been brought into the spotlight of the greater online community, and hopefully, this is where he will stay. But what I find the most fascinating is that, had it not been for some small quirk of the YouTube algorithm, the bizarre tale of Bruno Pauraznik, as it is, would have forever remained in the dark, among the ranks of every internet mystery which has yet to be discovered. Thanks for watching.